yesterday dur during the state of Unreal, uh, there was a little bit of technology that was kind of briefly covered, but not necessarily showed entirely. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. So yesterday, if you remember, during the state of Unreal, and by the way, this is a 360 video, so go ahead and um, go ahead and you can rotate around the, the the YouTube channel with your fingers or whatever, or VR headset. Um, there was a portion in the state of the Unreal where where Corey was kind of like hanging out in the back stage when he was doing the performance of Blue. And you know when they opened the door, and I'll put in the comments below. And people were wondering what that body motion capture was. Because he wasn't, he didn't have any balls around him, no suit, wearing any suit. So that is actually what we're looking at right now. And that is actually the capture system that they're using here that they're about to demonstrate. So in reality, um, it is a. Uh, mar on, hey, motion, like markerless motion capture, right? So that's what they're doing right now, um, and we're gonna take a look. Anyone wanna see the Alien Biz show? We're gonna start that in 10 seconds. Cool, cool. So yeah, they're, they're okay, about to start. Hello everyone, this is the Anium Viz stage, which is a bit of a demo space we have uh, as part of the, the booth area here. So I'm going to give you, uh, with my uh, wonderful assistant over here, dem some demonstrations of Meta Human Animator. And after we've done that, you'll be able to uh, actually join us on here and have a, a bit of a play, have some fun with this technology. If you're interested in that, uh, we have Chris and Robbie, our mocap technicians, who will set you up with a helmet and get you on the stage after. So let them know if you're interested. Um, so. I'm Tony Lacey, I'm MetaHuman Product Director here at Epic Games, and uh, I hope you've had a chance to look around the MetaHuman booth. Uh, this is our biggest and best release of MetaHuman yet. We have astonishing fidelity in our MetaHumans now. We have MetaHuman Creator in Unreal Engine, parametric bodies, real-time facial animation, and a use everywhere license. It really is uh, a phenomenal piece. The MetaHuman Animator section over there uh, aims to showcase the kinds of devices that you can use to drive your MetaHumans, uh, from consumer devices like webcams and mobile devices to helmets, such as the Rococo system over there. And the aim of this space, and I always forget audio, let's not forget audio, we drive from audio as well. But the aim of this space is to take you to a, a more professional stage setting uh, and show you how MetaHuman and MetaHuman Animator can work in this context. So uh, we have a, a bit of a real mocap stage set up here, and we have a, an unreal version of it. The idea is that you can see the real space and what you might see in a pre-visualization space. So every stage needs an actor. So let's bring on real human, Amy Leach. Hey. Hey. Hi everyone. Hi Tony, how's it going? I'm good. And she's joined by her meta-human, one of our new presets. We'll say hi as well. Good. <laughs> Jamie, how are you doing? I'm doing really good. I'm loving Orlando. This has been a blast. It has been a blast, has not it? Yeah. 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 Now, you were involved in the keynote, weren't you? I did. I had a chance to work on uh, maybe the opener you guys might have seen. It was a blast. If you haven't watched the keynote, go watch it. Absolutely, yeah. There were some, some great moments. I'm not biased. <laughs> Man, human section was great. <laughs> we set you up. It's all good. <laughs> It's all good, yeah. So, uh, as Kami walks around the stage, you can see her meta-human is walking around the stage. As Kami smiles, you know, and uh, pulls faces, uh, so her meta-human smiles and pulls faces along with her. Uh, and as Kami performs for us now, her favorite Fortnite dance, please do. You gonna join me? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. That is not happening. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so I think what we want to know is, is how is all this done? How do, how do we make a real human and a meta-human moving around together simultaneously? Well, just like uh, meta-humans, real people have heads and bodies. So we're going to break it up into those two areas and we're going to start by looking at how we're making the body animation work. Um, today, uh, sorry, meta-humans generally will work with a wide range of motion capture systems. 
you know, optical systems from Micron and, and, and OptiTrack uh, suits, IMU suits. But today we're using, I'm trying to ignore her. Okay, <laughs> so today we are, no, keep going. We are using uh, Capturing, which is a real time, full body, markerless motion capture system. This is why Kami has stood here in her in her, in her, in her, in her wonderful t shirts uh, and not wearing a, 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 an IMU, a, a suit, uh, an optical suit. Um, and that's because um, I'm looking up here because what I'm looking at is, is you can just make out the cameras. These are machine vision cameras, just RGB cameras. There's around 12 of them. I think. There's 12? There's 10. There's 10. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Even less. Some of these around here. And they're just filling, they're just recording the space. So you're being filmed from all places here, Kami. Everyone's they've all got an eye on you. And it means that as she moves around the space, uh, there's always a good view of where she is. All of that video data ends up in the computer back there, uh, and the algorithms on that machine use all these views of Kami uh, at 60 frames a second to pose a skeleton. Um, so here's here's the skeleton the capture system is giving us. There you go. And if you look, you know this is this is all just with video data coming in, and it's getting you know you get your fingers all coming through. So that's posed on that machine, uh, and those poses are then sent straight over to the Unreal machine where they are retargeted onto the metahuman skeleton. Try and time it, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> you get that. Uh, and so what that means is, as Kenya moves around, so a metahuman moves around, uh, we get full body motion. You can have multiple people in the same space and have them all tracked by this system as well. Really fantastic. But because it's a skeleton, we don't just have one metahuman, we can give Kami some friends. So Dave, can you, okay, we've got three metahumans now, all moving in sync. That's in sync, we, I'm gonna do my own metahuman band. <laughs> metahuman K-pop, there we go. Just no singing, okay? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> So that's how we get the body moving, uh, and that's using this capture system onto the metahuman. Um, but we're also interested in how the face works. So as Kami steps up here, you've probably noticed that she's wearing this uh, helmet and camera system. So um, this is a, a, a kind of a, a, an ILM, sorry, an ILM Technoprox HMC, and this is the kind of thing you see on uh, high-end film and game studios. I think Robbie, this is an Avatar helmet. Am I allowed to say that? Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, there's some serious credentials here with this system. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's a stereo camera system. It's got uh, vertical cameras on the front here, stereo cameras, shining white light. And that's recording video around 60 frames a second again of k moving around there. It's cool. It's cool. I can't believe the, actually the fidelity that it gets. It's astonishing. <laughs> it's too much fun to play with. Yeah. We've got great technicians here in Chris and Robbie using setting this thing up. But all that video data uh, would go into the computer that she's wearing on the front here, so it's computer and battery, giving her free movement uh, to move around. And that would be recording video data uh, of her face. Now, usually what happens is on a stage is you record video um, and you leave the stage with video. But recently, the team at, I, at Teleprops have added an update to the software that allows it to stream footage from one of these cameras. Uh, to the Unreal Engine machine over there. So there we go, there's video footage of you flying over to that machine. Tony, can I put this on other characters? We get to that. Oh, come on, it's my favorite part. <laughs> We'll get to that. Uh, so the video footage then lands on the same Unreal machine that the uh, capture data is going to, and then that is then fed into, as a video feed, into MetaHuman Animator real time. So it's processing that footage at 60 frames a second and generating animation on the face. And voila, we get facial animation. There you go. Start to pull faces. So now what we have is a pre-visualization of the, of the facial animation um, and that's perfectly in sync with the body. So we get the whole whole piece on our stage. And what this now means is, is we can uh, look at this from any perspective we choose. So say we can pick some different camera angles because we've got a virtual space here. And if I was recording a production, this means I can you know, play around to my heart's content about how we look at the character, what we might see, how they may interact. Really good. And again, this all lands on the MetaHuman facial description standard. So what that means is that we aren't limited to one character. We can switch between different characters. 
And what this means is you can be developing and playing with your character as a meta-human and still be generating animation that you know is going to work. So different versions of your character, maybe different styles you want to try, you could work those out. Or completely different people. Yeah, more distinguished this guy. I don't think. I think I need a shave. I think you do. <laughs> And again, you know, all of this data is landing on that machine, so uh, we've been recording some of this, so if we just pause there, and Dave will take us back a little bit through the, uh, through the footage. Okay, so he can shoot back. Uh, real physics there, as you see. Yeah, moving around. So we can scrub back through the timeline again, looking at you know sections that we like for later storage. Maybe get the actors to repeat those sessions. Uh, it gives us these incredible, <laughs> incredible abilities. I'm learning a lot more about myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, metahumans then are fully rigged, they are ready to go, so you can bring them to the stage whenever you want. You can pre-visualize your performances as you're recording for later processing. I mean, they really are you know, giving you the ability to live in an unreal space as you're working in a real, in a real space. And again, metahuman animator is not just for these kind of stage things. As we show it, see over here, you can be using real time you know, from, from your bedroom to stream to the world, to stream your character out to the world. Uh, MetaHuman Animator has got your back. So that's all we wanted to show you. I hope that was uh, enjoyable and uh, thank you very much. And if you want to have a go, uh, make yourself known to Robbie and Chris over here and uh, they can set you up with a helmet and you can come and have a play. Thank you. Come play. It's fun. Oh, yeah, that's what we're, we're going to go visit them and then we're going to try a new platform. So, so, yeah. Alright, so this dude is straight up sitting down. And if you notice, the cameras are just up. Just bringing people in, drop them in. Have like four or five people in. Alright, he's about, he's about. Oh, uh, like, so, uh, and, and that's some of the fun things that we want to try out. So, oh, look at that. He's just showing up. Now. Yeah. He's yeah. like, bro, watch. That's crazy. Oh, man. I mean, that's why I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, I was going to say, I was like, I'll pull up the skeleton, because then you've got like, this is the trap. Exactly. Oh, man. This is using that new IK retargeting we just learned, too. Alright, I think I'm done embarrassing myself. Alright, let's take you out over here. Dude, now you put on a good show, man.